Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Can you guess where I'm sitting? Just by the background. Can you guess? Come on. Can you guess? Probably, guys. I'm sitting here with Bailey because he's so loving now, you guys. And it's bad that he's loving because he's moving out soon. But he's just so sweet. Watch this. Maybe he won't do it on camera, but watch how cute. Bailey. Hello. He loves. See, he's. He, 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 I don't have food. He gets super submissive and sweet to me. Oh, he's not in a good position. Let me try. Just wait. But he, he actually asks me to pet him. I scratch underneath his chin. He puts his head all the way back so I can scratch under his chin. He's just so sweet. Right, Bailey? He's looking at you guys like you're crazy. You're the nicest little bird. Just wait, let's see if he changes position and then I'll show you. Can you hear him talking? He just was talking to Gabby. Like, hello. He still loves me the most. Yeah, he's like the nicest bird. It's hard to tell because he's got his mouth open, but he actually loves being, in he loves interacting with us. He's like, oh, is it time to get out? Is it my morning play time? Oh, guess what happened? Wh what? Huh? What? Shut the cage like this. But didn't put the stick in. <clears throat> I was sitting over there. On the couch. On the couch. And he flew out to me. Yeah, he, when we don't put the stick in, he knows it, it. He thinks it means it's the time of the day where he's allowed to get out. And yes, he gets out still every single day to play. And he'll just push the door open and he just will fly to whoever's sitting anywhere near him. The closest person to him. And he'll just like be right beside you and just sit there. Yeah, we're talking about you, Bailey. We're talking about you. Yeah, see how cute, watch. This way, let me see. Yes, I know, you like me to rub your beak. Let me just show them how nice you are. You know, I've just been rubbing underneath his beak for like the longest time before I got the camera. It's hard to see him through the bars. But he likes to be pet. Yes, he does. I never knew birds were so affectionate. He is like honestly one of the most affectionate birds I've ever seen. All right, it's clear to me now that whenever sad things happen, I feel like eating sugar. I just realized this just today because yesterday we went out to eat after we had a super sad day, right? Did you say good morning yet? It wasn't even related to me. Ah, it was a sad day for me. No. And now I just had the saddest time watching Austin Null from the Nine Nulls. They're getting divorced and I just watched their video and literally my heart broke into a million pieces that anybody could feel that bad. And I don't want them to get a divorce, but I mean, life happens and things Wait, they change. Divorce? Yeah, they're a family on YouTube, they're getting divorced. Okay, so I watched the video and now I'm making cupcakes. Anyway, I'm whipping up cupcakes. I plan to cook some and eat some and then make more. Coco has to make icing. Yeah, I have to make icing. And guys, when we move, I'm planning on getting a bunny and teaching it how to jump, but a baby one. Yeah, so I'm gonna make more muffins, cupcakes, and then take them, freeze them, and take them camping with us. And Sophie's been, this morning, come here and show them what you've been doing. You just got a cupcake batter all through your hair. All over your hair, okay. yeah. I've been watching bunnies jumping. People jumping bunnies. She's been like watching now, bunnies. I'm just fun watching bunnies. We're addicted to animals. We're addicted. But I oh, that's the kind that I want. I want a lop eared bunny. No. But can you try and get a black gold, please? My sister used to have a, um, a old lop eared bunny. Actually, it was just a young guy. He was gray. I guess he's called a blue color. Gold, and gold, it was literally gold, gold, gold. another animal that I connected with on this really strong level. I don't connect with every single animal on a strong level, but this bunny, oh and my gosh. And his name was Finnegan. Oh, his name was Finnegan, and I'll try and link that video here to show him to you. Anyway, when we eventually get a farm, I said if they get a bunny, they can get one, but the only kind of bunny I'm gonna buy is a lop. That's the bunny that I want. A giant lop. You want a black one? Right. So she's been doing that this morning, looking at bunnies. And I'm gonna train at how to jump. Yeah, we're gonna have a house full of jumping animals. And Gabby, where, what have you been looking at? Donkey and mule. Donkeys and mules. What do you want to buy? I was like, I want to buy a donkey and a mule. 
and a cow. Come on, Ooh. spit Not it out. And a horse for me. Right. <coughs> I want to start a business where I train donkeys and mules. She's been watching so videos. Yeah, she's been watching videos online and she's obsessed. Are you obsessed? Yeah. I really want to train a donkey so that she can learn to canter on it, but soon she's going to be learning how to canter. Gabby thinks that she's going to learn how to canter at riding lessons soon. Yeah. <coughs> she never talks about cantering or jumping unless you're almost to cantering and jumping. And has she been talking to Sophia yeah. about cantering? Wow. She said, when you want your legs still when you canter. And, yeah. Um, so that's what's been happening here. It's been kind of starting to get warm now. We're headed to the library this afternoon. We try and go once a week. Gabby is leading the way. Do you remember? I think it's down here. Anyway, we're at the library and you'll never believe what I'm looking for. Can you guess? I'm all about guessing. I am looking for horse books. I found a horse book yesterday at the store and it was $75. Animals in Translation. And wrong I really one. wanted to read it. And it was all about horses mm -hmm. and how they think differently wrong than us. Am I on the wrong aisle? Yeah, it's the next one. All right, let's go over there. The book is called Think Like a Horse by Cherry Hill. But this is the Canadian horse. I don't want that. Think Like a Horse, it's called. Here is Equipping Your Horse Farm. That looks good. Well, tractors, trailers, trucks, and more. Oh, this is by Cherry Hill. Isn't that what I just said? Cherry Hill, is there another book by her? All right, you guys, crazy things are happening in our house. I'm all alone, well, with four dogs, one cat, one bird, and a whole lot of feathers. Look at this. Feathers everywhere. My bed exploded. Ugh. Last week we showed you how I bought a bed online for Gabby and I wanted to buy a double bed mattress so that we could refinish a bed frame that I had when I was a lot younger and I wanted to paint it with her and do like a big crafting thing with her and I got the mattress and it was queen. So then I was trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. So Sam and I discussed it and we were thinking, well, we could use a new mattress and then our queen size mattress could go in Gabby's sunroom and then we'd always have a bed out there or at least a mattress out there and I'll just get Gabby a new mattress and a box spring. So Sam and the girls have gone to pick it up right now and I brought the bed up from the basement. So this is the bed and it does not look super cool yet. It's a wooden one, a really solid wooden one, and it's got a footboard and a headboard. But after we paint it, it is gonna be amazing. And I'm super excited to paint it with her and give her like free creative control. She's gonna do it like a blue color, a aqua marine, a turquoise color. That's what she wants to do and it's gonna be so nice. So anyway, so then they're gone and I thought, well, I'll just get it all cleaned up, switch the beds around. So I put her new mattress, I'll show you, on our bed. So I put it on our bed, so it's super cushy and nice now. But then I had to take our old mattress. So on our old mattress, I like to be super comfortable when I sleep. So I had a, I had a, underneath, our, like above the mattress, I had a feather bed. If you guys don't know what that is, it's like a big, huge, puffy mattress made all of feathers. And I had another foam mattress on top of that, and I had a mattress cover on top of all that to keep our mattress good and our mattress is really good it's all pretty and beautiful you never know it's 100 years old anyway when i took the duvet the feather bed off i noticed it sprung some leaks so uh, this is the feather bed and it's just a big whoa huge mattress filled with feathers and there's a leak right there i see it so uh, then i tried to rescue my mattress cover because I want to put this back. It's a big, heavy duty, really expensive, thick one. I want to put it on my bed so I don't wreck the new mattress. We don't wreck the new mattress and it is covered in feathers. Like, whoa. Like, look, when I pull them off, it is thick on there. So uh, Sam and the girls are probably about five minutes away. Our whole upstairs is covered in feathers. And so I have two choices. One, I could try and clean it up and hide it and Sam, so Sam doesn't freak out because he's going to freak out over the mess. 
or I could make a war. I could do a war on the girls. What do you guys think I should do? Come on, you only have five seconds to vote. I think I'm about to make a war. I just don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna sit up here, set the camera up, and throw feathers all over them. All right, let's go. Okay, so I cleaned up this floor the best that I could so they don't come upstairs and see a trace of a trail of feathers. So the only way it's gonna work is if I hide in their bedroom, in Gabby's bedroom, and close the door, and then when they open the door to come in, I bombard them <coughs> with feathers. I'm choking on them. Anyway, two things are gonna happen. One of two things. Sam is either gonna be like, oh my gosh, you're crazy, you're cleaning it up, or he's gonna lose his mind. So I'm just opening the blinds here. So I can watch and see when they get home. I'm super excited. I was getting nervous though. So this is my pile of feathers. Huge pile of feathers, but it's gonna make a big mess. They're home. Now I just need to figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab them. We're gonna put you guys. Coming in. Okay. You hate it? No, mine. You want to trade with Sophie? I want my old bed back. The queen that you had for a week? Yes. Slept in for two days. Yeah. You'll find this one. It is springy. It's nice and comfy. Let's see. It's nice. I like the color. We're gonna I like paint it. This. Yeah, we're going to paint the bed. I got feathers everywhere. I'm covered in feathers. Am I covered in feathers? I can't even see out my glasses because they're so covered in feathers. No, oh, they are. They attacked me after I attacked them. I heard Sam say, did you guys hear him? Oh, thank gosh, I didn't go first. We're at my favorite store Come for a few treats. Oh. Ice cream. What? No Sunny D? What did you get now? Gatorade? Gatorade. What do you think of this? Look at these. You can make s'mores <laughs> with digestive cookies. I don't like them. Get one of those big ones and not drink it all today. Okay, I want this time. Alright, put the other ones back. How can I say no? came here for Sunny D and they didn't have any, but then look, lo and behold, we found some big, gigantic Sunny D one liter jugs. I'm not gonna drink all of it. Not all tonight, right? But I'm definitely gonna drink it out of the bar. <coughs> Only 91 cents, so $2. Yeah, $2. <laughs> we are back from the store. We got our Sunny D, and you can hear in the background, Laura's still. Backing them up, all the feathers, and it's a mess up there. Lots of feathers. Feathers are, hard to, feathers are hard to get rid of, so it's better that we're hiding downstairs while it gets cleaned, right? Yes. Anyways, we're going to end tonight's vlog, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.